All right. And today, some of you might recognize where we are. To many of your surprise, though, uh, unfortunately, this right here, I attempted earlier, but as far as recording goes, not really possible. Playable, yes, uh, so you'll have to go out there and get yourself a headset and download this wonderful, wonderful experience and enjoy yourself with that one. But as far as things go, it doesn't mean that uh, I can't share a little bit of the normal experience with everyone on this fine day, so that's exactly what we'll be doing. Um, so as usual, we'll just get the density on up. We don't need any reduction. Um, ladybugs, of course. And look at this, they've got a, they've got a beach. If I scroll down here, that I can turn on as well. That's nice and wonderful. Now that I've tried it out a little bit, we'll pump this up to 25 uh, because we don't want to miss out. Uh, this can go up to 7. Now these are my optimal settings here as we're starting out. And we're just going to apply this. You can see the world is materializing around us. As we uh, get ready to set off on our wonderful adventure here as the bee. Now this is, as some may say, long overdue. It has been quite a while since our previous bee video was put up. And I do apologize. These videos require... Uh, just a, a nice a nice level of serenity um, that I tend to feel I don't have the capability of but uh, each time that I fire up this game I, I, I realize that it's the experience itself that brings this tranquility not the mood that precedes it uh, there is no necessary precaution to take before diving into this experience all that you really need is to hop on and enjoy with a open mind and a sense of whole being now as we fly over the new beach and as my roommate comes in through the living room area that is separated from my room via a locked door that is very, very unable to block out any sound. Um, we'll just continue to fly around here. And now, as you can see, this experience, although much time has passed, has not lost any of its charm. In fact, the new sounds, if you can hear, have been added as the experience has been refined by the creator that lovely sunset wonderful and gorgeous as always the music serene lovely let's just take a moment to uh take in the sounds as we tickle our little bee butt over these grassy blades like a uh brown and yellow chimpanzee mites over the treetops in the Serengeti. Oh. Wonderful. I'm brought here today because there's just been a lot going on in, in the world. I won't go into exactly what it is that's happening, but this experience, just like this video, will be able to transcend time and the fact that at all moments in time, the world is, in fact, going through a lot. Going through a lot of space as it travels, quite literally, massive distances relative to the sun, um, as it orbits the sun, as well as in the news, the world is going through a lot every second of every day. I just 
want to bring this video and this experience to everybody that's going through any sort of moment or uh, negative experience right now and, and just realize that uh, no matter what, this experience is here for you. You can just sit back, relax, enjoy. There's no obligations. You don't even have to look at the screen. You don't even have to listen to it. Honestly, you don't even have to re-look at the title again or look in the description or anything like that. All that this is is just an experience for you. 100% voluntary. 100% up to your discretion, your presence, and your involvement. But do realize that the more presence and involvement that you put into this experience, the more that you can take out of it. But on the contrary, if too much of this experience and video has you taking out negative effects, I'm not sure what those would be, but we wouldn't want those to surface and to accumulate or gestate because of this experience. So I do caution you to use moderation because I do know that this experience can be a lot for new people. And I do know that it can be extremely nerve-wracking and, and jarring and, and it can be, you know, just new as we uh, are about to experience something new here in this world. Uh, you've seen me tease going by them a few times, but those that have been with us for a while would know exactly what we're going to do with some of these wonderful light weeds here that have some lovely, lovely effect. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. We did it. See? And here you thought that... Because you are new here and because I've already been X amount of time into this experience that I had already shown you everything that it could give you. But in fact, there's more than would meet your initial impressions of this experience. And in fact, just like in life and in those moments and those events and and all of that, just because you have experienced so much of it doesn't mean that you've reached the finality of it or that you've taken in all that it has to give you. There could still be more positive experience to be gained from your situation. There still could be more to glean and hope for in your situation as we fly through this rain that is giving these flowers and grass and small little bushes a little bit of help in their day-to-day -day lives a little bit of comfort and hope because if you look at this field although not the entire field got that rain this entire field is healthier because that little area got that rain because everybody needs a little bit Everybody needs a little bit of, uh, of help every now and then. Just like that rain cloud did to that area over there. And it's those people that get that little bit of help and, and grow a little bit greener, stand a little bit taller. It's those that can then go in and share that water with the, the rest of, of the grass around them. And, and move on to just create a whole field like this of wonderful flowers and tall green grass and strong towering bushes that allow these ladybugs to fly around and enjoy themselves and the bees to go around and help the flowers. It's a wonderful thing that uh, this unity is, that this experience is. It's all about being the bee, but as you've noticed this entire time, up until now I haven't said those words. Because although the experience here is all about being the bee, as I've said in the past, that's not all the experience is. Just like in life, your experience you may think be just to, to live, to be who you are and, and all of that, but there's this entire system around you. 
that may take from you at times in a negative way, but in other ways can take from you in a positive way. You can help those, uh, those flowers. You can help this grass. You can help those ladybugs. You can help these bushes. So that way as you fly over them, as you are yourself, as you are the bee, you have something to appreciate. You've got something to marvel at. You've got something to give yourself more meaning. And that's just beautiful. The fact that this form, this medium here, can express this in such sincerity, in such openness. It's quite wonderful. It's quite magnificent, actually. And as we fly back over these wonderful hills covered in this beautiful landscape that we help to grow and to build and to nurture despite us being ourself because we want something more out of life than just ourself. Because if we look at ourselves, we aren't perfect. We aren't something that we can marvel at 24 seven. But if you build up this wonderful world around you in those moments where you can't look at yourself in the mirror or you can't be proud of yourself, you can look at the world around you. You can look at what you've built up and you can find hope and you can be proud again and you can get back some of that that you put into it whether that be this lovely view whether it be the bee gaining the pollen from the flowers whether it be you leaning on a friend or a family member it's all relative but it's all about being. And that's what be is all about. You're just being. And the objective is so pure that when people ask why this experience exists, they find themselves caught in the same trap as, as why does life exist? It's because it's there for you to experience it. It's there for you to be a being, to be a part of other beings, interact with them, look at them, marvel at them, look at what we made here. This small change in the world has left a permanent mark on it, and it's beautiful, and it's unique, and it's because I did that because I took the time to do that. And here, as we can see, we've got a bit of an event going on in our world here. Three fiery balls moving quickly over our grassy field. About to tickle our mounds and rustle our bushes. But, no matter what, it'll all be fine. Because we still have so much of our field that we've built, that we're proud of, that we can look at, that we can marvel. That those events, compared to our field, are so small. And it's wonderful. And it's great. And look at this. The ladybugs have started copying what we were doing and are running through those white weeds, displacing the seeds into the air, beautiful as they hang there. 
quite honestly, B is, is one of those experiences that I've tried to explain to people outside of these videos, that I've tried to explain to others in other settings, but unless you're actually in it, unless you're there, you can't be aware of everything that is happening. And as you stare at your screen in your underwear, I hope that you find yourself taking some nice, deep, relaxing breaths. Not too many, not too deep, not too shallow, not too harsh. Just nice and relaxing. In and out. As the bee goes up, breathe in and out with down. In with up. Now go at your own pace, because that's what you are doing right now. You're handling life, you're handling your experiences, you're handling your being at your own pace. So with that bit there where you're controlling all of that, you can feel with that much choice at your disposal, that much interaction with the world that you're actually out of control but with some nice calm controlled breathing it can help you regain that bit of control that you felt that you've lost help you tell you that uh you're not actually out of control that there's still something you can do that there's still something as long as you calm yourself and clear your mind you can find the right way to do it That's just wonderful. So those nice, calm, steady breaths that can help us take a new perspective and a new approach on our experience and on our life and how we're handling things and how we're dealing with it. Because there's a lot of things out there that are stressful and difficult to deal with. Everybody deals with stress. People handle it in different ways though. A lot of different ways. There's quite a few ways that are popular but are extremely negative that you or, or maybe your friends have been doing for years without any sort of look into its true deeper effects other than immediate relief and as we narrowly dodge that ladybug I'm not telling you to go back through and, and <laughs> deeply study all of your coping habits but the ability to self reflect every now and then and come up with something new and constructive to do to help yourself positively is something that is a tool and although it doesn't come up all the time and although it might not be the sharpest of tools when it comes down to it sometimes it's the right tool for the job and sometimes it is required and when you're tossing around all the tools in your toolbox maybe a couple of times when you can't quite find a tool that seems to fix your problem maybe reach for this one and give it a try just like how B can be a tool it can be a tool to help you re-grasp where you've been where you're going and how this world works For now, let's, let's try and re-grasp our surroundings. 
Let's take a look. So here you'll see wonderful flowers, a nice pastel pink, a nice piss yellow, a wonderful green of the grass, and the green of some of those flowers there. You'll find as we come upon the beach, the white sand in the blue ocean. And it's wonderful. We found ourselves in this environment again by pointing out the small obvious things, things that don't stress us, things that let us know that we're in a situation that isn't immediately harmful to us. Let's us know that we've got a place to step back to and reevaluate our situation. And here we come, back to the center of our issue, back to the center of our problem, back to the center tree. Now if you look at that tree, it is big and it is towering, it's the largest thing in this world, but it is not as big as the world, it does not envelop it, it does not choke it out there is still room for much more in our world to grow and that's wonderful all these little bushes and, and this large tree could be considered you know habits or, or daily routines or ways of dealing with things and the important thing to note is that they're spread out they're given room to grow. They're given room to be individual, to be traveled to when I need them. But not restricted to when I don't or when I need something else. And that's something very important. You don't want to get hung up on just one form of dealing or coping with something or relieving stress. You want to have an array of tools and, and bushes to travel to when shit hits the fan. You know? Now look at that lovely red. Let's take a nice good look. We're going to buzz by this red right here. Beautiful. Wonderful. Now the red is unique, it stands out in this group, it's beautiful, isn't it? Now if we were to conform this area, make it all flat, all just green grass, remove the ocean, get rid of the rain, no more clouds, nothing but the sunlight, it would be a much more boring place. Would it be controlled? Yes. Would it be less complicated? For sure. But would it be the experience that we'd enjoy? No. Because although we would still be the bee doing what this bee is doing here, it would not enjoy what it was doing. And it's important to remember that it's not about just being the bee, it's about enjoying yourself in the experience of being the bee. And as you're doing your dishes or your laundry or, you know, cleaning your room here, what you're doing is planting flowers or pulling weeds. You're waving hello to all the ladybugs. You're very subtly but effectively making your experience better by improving your environment, by getting rid of those dishes, by doing something productive, by getting some clean clothes, by putting them through the washer, by cleaning up your room so it's less cluttered, so it doesn't smell, so if somebody were to come over to your domicile, they wouldn't be off-put by your living habits. It's those little things that while you're sitting in your room bored or, or when you have nothing else to do, if you just quickly take the five or ten minutes a day to perform them, can turn your field into something filled 
these wonderful flowers, these wonderful bushes, with these beautiful ladybugs that are lively and majestic and make your experience fun, enjoyable, worth it, justified. And it's wonderful. It can just be those little things. There's big things as well, but they don't often come up. The little things come up every day. And that's why they're powerful. That's why they're strong. Because they're there, ready for you. And that's what's amazing. It truly is. Now, as we come around here, I have lost myself time-wise and how long I've been doing this. It's not important, obviously, but I do want you to go on to your day. I do want you to move on from this experience because this is just, although a wonderful one, a small one. And I do wish you a bright, vibrant, and healthy field. I wish you a wonderful set of new flowers and experiences to plant today. And I invite you to join me next time when all the events that are going on in the world right now have settled down again. Those meteors pass by my field, your field, everyone's field, and we're able to settle in for another experience. I hope you'll join me again. Thank you, and have a lovely time being the bee.